The visits went wonderful. We ended up seeing uh, uh, two uh, Congress people, assembly uh, men at the same time. Uh, the first visit was really wonderful. We're, we did more educating with this uh, gentleman because he was a staffer, so it went very well. He asked a lot of questions and uh, uh, he took a lot of the information in the handout as well. He asked a couple of follow-up questions and stuff. He was surprised when I shared that I was diagnosed with early onset dementia six years ago. So he kind of looked at me and kind of listened a little bit more to what I had to say. Um, our second visit was even more powerful because I think on all the visits, the most powerful question that can happen is when you ask them, have you or any of your family members been affected by Alzheimer's or dementia? And that's when he sat back very quietly and said, my mother. It was more powerful hearing his story and then he could relate to us. And as we were talking about things, he says, yeah, I can understand. And we believed him when the, he said that phrase, I can understand because he lived it. Mm -hmm. And like I've always told Tracy, this is our third year up here that we've been coming up to uh, Sacramento. I've always said I never expect anybody to do something I'm not willing to do myself. So that's why I'm up here trying to be that voice for people that are actually living with uh, dementia. I was very blessed that I actually got that early diagnosis because something we've been sharing today is that 45% of the people are the only ones that get a diagnosis. That means over 55% of the people never get that proper diagnosis. And even getting the early onset uh, was able for us to do a lifestyle change. I was able to step away from work before I got fired. It was able to Tracy to understand it wasn't me because hadn't I not gotten this diagnosis, it could have led towards a divorce because it started with us fighting about different things. And the funny thing is the first thing she had me tested was my hearing. And she would say she told me to do this, told me to do that. And I said, no, you didn't. No, I didn't. I said I was going here or going there. Yes, well, I did. So we fought about that. And the funny thing is that's the first step towards my diagnosis was getting my hearing tested. Got it done. It was fine. Little light in my left ear. Then the EEGs with the, the pins in my head. Then on and on and on. And then I started doing some of the cognitive testing and I didn't do so well. And then there were... You know, kind of surprised because somebody, again, early age, a professional, I was able to hide it very well or, or just hide it from myself. I didn't even really know that that's what it was. So I was very lucky that actually I did get that diagnosis. So um, One of the, the main things that we're finding with Stephen's diagnosis is the stigma. He can't possibly have this disease because he's so young. And so people don't... He doesn't look ill, he doesn't have a band-aid, he doesn't have a cast, there's not a bump on his head. So people tend to just think everything's fine. Um, even family members, as we educate people, that's going to be so empowering. Because right now, it, even the first year of his diagnosis, he wouldn't tell anybody. We would go places and he would say, please don't say anything to anybody because they're going to think I'm weak research because we don't get there will be no cure there will be no help unless there's research so that has to be funded yeah, research and awareness you have to have the combination of the two the awareness that we need the research the research to help with the awareness to find a cure because again the sad thing is is that it uh, used to be, it was the fifth leading cause of death in California. It's sad to say we moved up to the third leading cause of death in California. So that's not a direction we want to go. My name is Stephen Barbieri. I'm an advocate for the Alzheimer's Association. My name is Tracy Barbieri, and I support my husband with Alzheimer's. Thank you.